Police told Spencer Erickson to come out with his hands up. Erickson couldn't do that, though. He was asleep, waking up just in time to see a dog sink its teeth into his neck. Those details and the gruesome images that go with them only scratch the surface of a lawsuit filed against Lakewood Police. Denver 7's Megan Lopez is here to explain what that lawsuit claims and the reason police were looking for Erickson in the first place. Yeah, Jason, the lawsuit accuses the Lakewood Police Department of using excessive force and violating Spencer Erickson's Fourth Amendment rights when they sent a canine into his home to find him while he was sleeping. All of this was over a misdemeanor crime, and we want to warn you that some of those images are very graphic and hard for viewers to watch. Life can change in an instant. For Spencer Erickson, he has never been a source of any sort of violence. That incident happened last September in this apartment off Hamden Avenue. Erickson's lawyer Adam Frank says his client's roommate called Lakewood Police, claiming he caused property damage and saying he had warrants out for his arrest. They show up with at least six police officers and a police dog. Officers texted and called Erickson, but he didn't respond. He was dead asleep. All they had to do was walk in, wake him up, and handcuff him. Instead, a lawsuit filed against Lakewood Police claims officers sent a canine named Finn in to find him. Spencer wakes up with the dog about two feet away from him with a bark. He see, hears a loud bark, his eyes open, and the dog's jaws just clamp onto his throat. Officers followed and tried to get the dog to let go of Erickson, but it didn't listen at first. It exposed his jugular vein. The lawsuit says Erickson suffered severe injuries to his neck and... He's been diagnosed with PTSD. He has real trouble sleeping. It affects him on a daily basis. In the end, he was charged with and pleaded guilty to a misdemeanor. Frank believes officers violated Erickson's Fourth Amendment rights, saying that canine has a history of violence. But in 2015, this dog attacked an officer during a training exercise and bit that officer in the face. The lawsuit also claims officers falsified their reports to cover up the incident. For Erickson, what we're looking for is justice. What we are looking for is an acknowledgement by Lakewood that this can never happen again, that they can never send a dog like this in in a low level situation. So six officers were named in that lawsuit. Erickson's lawyer says that they do want the dog to be removed from the police force and for Erickson to be compensated. For its part, the city of Lakewood says it cannot respond to any pending litigation. Wow. And all right, Megan, thank you.